السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome everyone, blessings to all of you. So, this is a good month. We said it, it is an auspicious month, Kadir, and it will move to Hajj. In the Sufi tradition, it is a month that we also use for seclusion. Now, so many people, they ask me always this thing, what I think about this uh, many videos that we have about manifestation this or manifest this in your in your life by uh, thinking certain things or all this kind of stuff no now what you need to understand is what manifests is yourself yeah it is nothing else that manifests whatever you are will manifest so if you take care for example about your physical life health will manifest in your life. If you took, take care about your professional life, then something there will manifest. But it is not only taking care in the outside. And that is the basic point. You know, we always work on circumstances, but circumstances is secondary. And circumstances cannot be really controlled. What we can achieve is to get a mastery about ourselves. And the way that functions is from small to big. So that means what you always overlook, what you always regard as something not important is actually the most important. Yeah. So it is the way you walk, it is the way you breathe, it is the way you do things in which speed, in which attention, in which focusing, you know. What you carry in your mind all day long, yeah, that is another thing that will manifest basically into your actions because first is the mind, comes emotions, they marry each other and comes then the action. So what you fill your mind up with is what will finally come to an action in the outside. That's why we say, if you want to know what a person thinks, just listen, it is going to pop out of their mouth. You know, Sooner or later, it will pop out of somebody what is in them. You know, So you do not have to think what people think. It just You have just to listen and wait. It will pop out, right? Therefore, have practicings where you attend to the small. No? There is one exercise, one practicing that we give people in the beginning, and this is that you sit in your room and that you look around in the room, whatever is there, and you say, all that I see yeah, is meaningless. Yeah. It has no meaning, right? And when you do that for a while, you will find how you detach, how you detach from these imprints, from these influences that we have permanently on us through the environment, through what is around us. And when you do that, you find yourself energized, you find yourself empowered, and you understand, aha, uh -huh, there is me that is independent in a way from whatever I see around. Yeah. There is me that is just by itself. No. Because we said it before, we are dreaming our dream in the dream of the divine. So the divine is the existence. And we dream ourselves into his dream. Now his dream is always greater. Yeah. We would call it the reality, but it is actually in the in divine view, it is also a dream that he dreams because only through this he can create, right? He needs to imagine, he needs to, to do something. 
yeah, in this way that we also do. And this is how he creates. If he would not do that, if he would just stay in bliss, if he would just stay into his beingness, there would be no creation. Yeah. So he created something and he did something. What we also do that we want to create, and this is why we think and why we dream. You know? And in this way, he created the existence that is not permanent. Right? Also, he's permanent, but even all the universes and all the galaxies are not permanent, and our dreams are also not permanent. Our self is permanent. Our spirit is permanent, but our life, our circumstances are impermanent and a subject of changing, permanent changing. No. So what is not permanent is not in the absolute sense in existence. So the dream existence is not the existence. And this is why we say there is a non created existence and there is a created existence there are non-created universes and there are created universes however what it means in our life is that we need to detach and at the same time we need to give attention to the smallest things right so the practicing of, for example, with which food I'm entering in the shoe, with which I go out, with which arm I dress my shirt or my, my trousers, with which leg, and so on. You can say all these things are irrelevant, yeah, and they are small and they are insignificant. Yes, they are insignificant in the absolute, but they have a great effect on our life when you start to do it, because you become aware of what is really you doing and the more you are unified with what you do and how you do it and you are in the full presence let's say your life will clear up and it will manifest what is important for you yeah you see there is a self and this self guides us and this self runs its way towards itself yeah this we need to understand. The self looks for itself, and this self that looks for itself is the divine. There is nothing that can stop the self doing that. But before it goes there, it has to fulfill certain purposes. So let's say your self is made to become an artist, just as an example. But your whole environment is not made for it. It's not encouraging you. It's not really there. Maybe you work at a bank or whatever you do. Finally, that self will find its way. It will break up in you yeah, sooner or later. So whatever is not in congruence with that self that needs to unfold, you will not have success in it. Yeah, You will not really be able to develop easily there. Therefore, when you are very unsatisfied with what you are doing in life, that is probably the reason that yourself yeah, is not happy there. Yeah. Then try to become creative, means invent yourself new, try different things, things that you might have never thought maybe. Yeah. Try them out and look how it responds with you, how you feel with it. You know? Be it, for example, that you discover, oh, I'm very good with my hands, you know? and I should maybe do something more with my hands. You know? Whatever it is, it is not something that you need to think. You need to be found by. Yeah? You can say, in a similar way, we find our partners, we find our uh, uh, relationships we don't really know what we are looking for and yet we can recognize it when we find it no? the same is for the self that moves towards the, the world like a blind one but when it touches something that is in, in 
synchronicity with the self, it will respond, it will get triggered, right? And this is something no one can tell you, this is something no one can show you because you have to do that yourself, no? The self can only know, yeah. So getting attention to the small, yeah, will bring you in a much closer contact to that self, you know? And in that way, you will understand the bigger picture and you will handle it also better. So it is always from inside to outside, from small to big. Yeah. We don't like to hear that because it means work, it means patience, but this is the reality and this is how it works. So there is not a method to manifest anything like in a second or this or that. There is nothing that manifests except you. Yeah. Try it out and see and you shall find success. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.